writing was on my heart and I just had to share it. So the Lord is searching, the Lord is searching the earth for someone who will partner with him. Someone who is not obsessed with themselves or loves their life too much. Someone who will join the war for his kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. Those who will lay down their lives for his will to be done. Just like Jesus, God sacrificed his only son to set us free from sin. So in Matthew 10, 39, the scripture says, if you cling to your life, you will lose it. But if you give it up your life for me, you will find it. Who, who is out there? Who is ready and able and willing to give up their life so that they will find it? Give up their life for Jesus. 1 John 3, 16 says, we know love by this, that he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Just like Jesus laid down our, his life for us, we, who is going to lay down their life for their brethren? Who's going to do it? In this life, we have free will. So what are you going to do with the freedom that Jesus bought for us? You could choose to lay down your life for forsaking your own will, partner with the Holy Spirit in prayer and intimacy, and become a living, willing vessel for the Holy Spirit to work through. This leads you to getting revelation of freedom in Christ and setting other captives free. Or you can choose to focus on yourself. You can choose to focus on yourself, the world, and worldly things. You can neglect spiritual things of above and live by the flesh, chasing your vain desires that will never satisfy. They never will. Sorry to tell you. And you could decide not to accomplish what God has created you for. You could decide not to participate in the reason why you were created. And you could blend in with the world. Not caring about other people's souls that you were supposed to lead to Christ. And disciple. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20 says... Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price, so glorify God in your body. You are not your own. You were bought with a price, and you were made for a particular will to be done. Romans 12, 1 says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. If you are ready to lay down your will for the Lord's will for your life, repent and submit to the Holy Spirit so he can begin to transform you. What is more important, you guys? Eternity or life here, which is under 100 years? Some people get one year, some people get two, some people get 99, some people get 50, some people get 20 years. But what is more important? When you weigh this, what is more important? Eternity or the little years here? Who will lay down their lives for their brothers and sisters? Because in John 15, 13, it says there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friend. Who will put aside their fleshly desires and go against the grain and lose their life here to find it? Who will surrender to the Holy Spirit and submit to the Father? Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything that you need. Who is ready to say, have your way, Holy Spirit? Whatever you created me for, that's what I want. So have your way, do what it takes. Prune me, purify me, and I will trust you that in this process, I will trust you in this process. Because, you know, there's nothing worse. I can't imagine even worse or feeling than reaching the end of your life and all you have to show for it are things that you cannot take with you. 
because you focused on storing treasures here on earth, where, um, on earth instead of heaven. In Matthew six nineteen through twenty one, it says, "Don't store up treasures here on earth, where moths eat them and rust destroys them, and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven, where moths and rust cannot destroy, and thieves do not break in and steal. Wherever your treasure is, there." There, the desires of your heart will also be. So you make the choice today. Like, make the choice today. You want to store up your treasures in heaven? You can do this by partnering with the Holy Spirit. Because you can't do nothing apart from Him. In John 15, 5, it says, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. The Lord, when he created you, he had a, he had a specific plan for you. He, had, he has a plan for you. And he's just waiting, searching the world to see who is ready to leave this world behind, this world and the world of things, and come, you know, who is ready? Who is ready to get out of the matrix? In all honesty, who's ready to get out? Because God planned such good things for us a long time ago. In Ephesians two ten, it says, "For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago." So I say all this to say, when I wrote this out the other day, and it was on my heart. I feel like the Holy Spirit was just telling me to share this with you guys. Who's ready? Because the Lord is searching. He's waiting for your yes and amen. He is waiting for your yes, Holy Spirit. I submit to your will. I'm tired of doing it my way. I don't. I want what you want. Because really, you guys, frankly, this is the only way to have true fulfillment in life. Is walking in the path and the purpose of what God created you for. Walking in your true identity in Christ. So I leave you all with that. And I pray that if you're ready, if you're ready, just submit to the Holy Spirit. Repent for your sins and repent today. Say, Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask that you come into my heart. Holy Spirit, I just submit to you and I say, have your way. Take over. Take over, Holy Spirit. Take over. And then watch the transformation happen in your life. Watch the desire for spiritual things just occur, just start happening. Watch you start finding yourself picking up your Bible more than watching Netflix. Watch, just watch and see because the Holy Spirit transforms you. You don't have to do it on yourself. Do it on your own. You can't do nothing apart from God. And you can come to Him just the way you, that you are. You can come to Him if you have an addiction. You can come to Him if you're living a, um, a LGBTQ lifestyle. You can come to Him in any way that you can and you come to Him just seeking a relationship with Him. Seek a relationship with Him and everything else will fall into place. All He needs is your repentance and a fresh surrender. So I'll leave you guys with that. And yeah, God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. And I just pray for everyone out there. If you've been feeling a tug on your heart, if you've been feeling the Father calling you, because you can't even draw near to Him if He doesn't call you first. If you've been feeling it, I pray that you answer the call. I pray. that the Lord gives you the desire for spiritual things. And I pray that your mind be renewed. Your mind be renewed and the veil be lifted from your eyes so you can see the world for what it truly is. 
It all looks like glitz and glam, but it's really, it leads to death. Living in the flesh leads to death. True death, eternal death. So, God bless you guys. Thank you, Jesus, for this message. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I just leave you all with this, and I pray that y'all truly, those who haven't partnered with the Holy Spirit, that you will really think about this message and really decide to truly partner with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.